It has been a violent holiday week here in Louisville. There have been four homicides in two days. As police investigate, many in the community, even young people, are asking to put down the guns. As the number of homicides continues to climb here in Metro Louisville to record breaking numbers, we sat down and talked to some youth who are concerned and have their own ideas of how things can change. But they say it's going to take a community. It makes me kind of sad because I don't know if it's one of my family members or not. It makes me upset because we went through it, we went through the same. They're 12 and 14, both victimized by violence in their neighborhood. For Kiwana Reynolds, it's been her family members who've been gunned down. For Treviana Tyus, her nine year old brother, Key Anthony, was shot in the leg in a drive by shooting. Now, with two shootings on Wednesday and one on Thanksgiving night near their homes, they desperately want change. For them to stop killing, put the guns down, and like to do better. I think we talk about things that we can do better mm -hmm. instead of shooting, killing people. Mm -hmm. Stuff better that we can do mm -hmm. about the situation without having a gunfight on the base. Because they don't necessarily understand the permanence. Of, of murder, of death, of pulling that trigger. CEO and president of the Louisville Urban League, Sadiqa Reynolds, says the solution isn't a quick fix and will take institutions to develop hope and a village to show they care. To have the connections between our leadership, whether it's government, whether it's me and the Urban League or, or whoever, and also our young people. They, they have to feel heard someplace. Yeah. These two girls say that's why they're a part of a group called Hood to Hood, created by Christopher 2X, to be heard and to try to weaken violence. How the pain is spread throughout the city. And, and that's the significance of it. Christopher 2X says some of the meetings and walks and remembrance ceremonies may seem redundant to some, but he says if the number of youth and community leaders getting involved grows, then there's purpose that's being made. Here outside of LMPD headquarters, Ann Bowden, WLP.